Hello, my name is Rose Halmanick. I'm a senior consultant with Pampered Chef Canada, and I'm here today to make some uh, chicken wings in our deluxe air fryer. Um, my husband and I absolutely love chicken wings, and it's actually been a little bit of time since we've had them, so it's going to be quite a nice treat. Um, I'm going to be making about two pounds of chicken wings. Um, and I'm going to be following the recipe from Pampered Chef Canada, which has always been really, really successful for us. So I have portioned out here uh, two pounds, just I think it's two pounds, one ounce, something like that, of uh, chicken wings and tips. And so drumettes and, uh, and uh, tips. And we're going to put those right in our Pampered Chef stainless steel bowl and we're going to get rid of this into the sink and previous to this i've oiled my um my my um my sheets that go into the air fryer with some um uh good old-fashioned uh grapeseed oil which i love because it has a very high flash point and it keeps the wings from sticking. And uh, I don't like to use uh, uh, parchment paper uh, just because I like, for, I like for as much of the fat from the chicken wings to kind of go down into the, uh, onto the, the plate at the bottom so that we're not eating a lot of fat. Well, let's just say it, we're not eating as much fat as we would be eating. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put these in and then halfway through the air fryer is going to beep and let me know that the, um, that half the time is gone and I'm going to switch the plates one to the top and to the bottom so that, um, they're more evenly cooked. Uh, but before I start that, I'm going to add probably three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and about three quarters of a teaspoon of freshly cracked pepper. These are our handy dandy one cup uh, prep, prep bowls, prep cups, whatever. They come in different sizes. This is the smallest size. It comes in a set of six. They all have their own individual covers. So if you want to store them in the fridge, they're always handy to do that. It also helps for me to be a little bit more organized in my workstation and I really appreciate that. Um, I've also uh, measured out two teaspoons, uh, one teaspoon per pound, of baking powder, which I, I had not realized uh, was the thing to do before I started working with Pamper Chef, but it sure makes a big difference in the wings. It makes them nice and crispy. I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that into the sink. And we're going to mix this up just sort of to make sure that all the wings are coated as best as we can with that mixture. And uh, we, we absolutely love our chicken wings and uh, I am so excited to make them for you. Um, right now we're, we're having Dumplings uh, Pampered chef which is a party given by my sister Betty Jean for her granddaughter Kennedy, who's just moved into a new apartment and has absolutely nothing for her for her kitchen. So, so uh, Betty Jean, who is uh, who Kennedy calls Dumpling, um, decided she wanted to see if she could earn some free and deeply discounted products from Pampered Chef to, to help her granddaughter along. So, I have mixed um, my chicken wings really, really well. I'm going to put that into the sink and get huh, get my Pampered Chef tongs. These are great. These are this is the smaller of the two tongs. They come in a two. You can get a larger one and a smaller one, and you can buy them in a set. I do believe. When you have them facing this way with the tongs down, they're open, and when you have them facing this way, they lock. And I really, really like them. Um, they're good. They're uh, they stand withstand temperatures well over 450, and they are so handy to have in your kitchen. Now I really like to 
put all the drumettes on one side and all of the um, uh, the wingtips on on the other tray so that they're kind of uniform. I don't know if that really helps with the cooking. It just sort of helps with my uh, with my desire to be in control of things. I think more than anything. Um, but they look nice, and uh, I always appreciate things that look good. Um, they always say that you you eat with your eyes first, so I just think they look nice in the in the air fryer that way. And uh, here we go. Now, I have to tell you, I was a little surprised when I was weighing these out. There's a lot of chick chicken wings in two pounds, um, so. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to fit them all on. Oh, I'm sure I will. But I was just going to say I might not fit them all on the tray. But you know what? I can do it. I am a pampered chef. I'm not a perfect chef, but I am a pampered one. So here we go. Some of them are a little fatter than others. But hey, that's the way life goes. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's create a few little bit of distance there so that they're not one on top of the other. And we can push them up a bit so that we could fit some right down the center. I think we could. Let's see. One. Good job. And do we have another one? Yeah, there's a drumhead. There's a drum bag. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do the other ones. They're a lot easier. Actually, I think they're a little bit smaller. That always helps. And so we're going to put these into the air fryer on air fry, which is about 400 degrees for half an hour. And then we are going to eat them. Now you may notice that I'm not putting any sauce on these. I'm literally just doing salt and pepper and the baking powder, and um, that's going to make them wonderfully crisp and delicious. And then after they're done, we will decide what kind of a flavoring we want to put on them. Um, that's sort of how I've always done my chicken wings in, in my uh, air fryer. Uh, partially because that's how Pampered Chef tells us to do it and it's worked well for me and they taste good. So, you know, you can't, don't uh, argue with success, right? So we're going to put them into our wonderful Pampered Chef air fryer, which is over here on my stove top. And um, just one thing to mention, when you're using any of our electronic, um, our, our electrics, uh, we don't want you to plug them into an outlet that has anything else plugged into it. It really wants the power from that outlet all to itself. And so uh, we make sure that we, uh, we give it that opportunity. And so we're going to take our trays and we're going to put them in. One at the top. And bottom. And when I turn this air fryer on, I'm going to turn it to, there are different presets. And you can see them here. There's, there's air fry, there's bake, there's, ro there's roast, there's dehydrate. There's, what's that? I'm not sure what that says. Preheat? No, no. That can't be preheat because you don't preheat it. No, preheat. Oh, that's for if you want to a heat up food that's already been cooked. And what's the last thing? Oh, uh, dehyd dehydrator. So you can see that, the, the, that the, uh, the air fryer is way more than just a simple air fryer. It does all those things. And things are pretty, uh, things are preset. So we're gonna take it to air fry. Air fry is um, preset for 25 minutes but I am going to take that up to 30 minutes and then I'm going to press it again and the air fryer is going to go on and it's already preheated as soon as I press that button it's immediately at 400 degrees imagine 
Usually when you're using your big oven, how long does it take you to reach 400 degrees? I don't know about your oven, but I know about my oven. It takes forever. And, uh, and what happens when it takes forever? That's money that you're spending to get that uh, oven at a certain temperature. Well, you don't have to worry about that with the air fryer. It's immediately at 400 degrees. And so it saves you a lot of money on your electricity. Um, and so that's a, one really great thing. And also it cuts down on your cooking time. Uh, you're not sitting there waiting for it to come to 400 degrees. It's there immediately. It's the same with any of the other, uh, other settings. At whatever temperature they are, they are there immediately. So that is a, just a wonderful thing about our air fryer. So let's just press it again. And now it's going to go for half an hour. And it'll go for 15 minutes, and then it will beep at me to say that the cooking time is halfway through and it gives me the prompt to switch the trays. Uh, and I will, take, I will take advantage of that. Um, so um, here we go. Our, our chicken wings will be done in half an hour. I will switch them at the, at the 15 minute mark, but I won't come back for that. You just have to trust me that I'm doing it. And um, we're gonna have wonderful chicken wings and we'll invite you back to show you um, some of the sauces we're gonna put on them. So do have a really wonderful afternoon. It is overcast here, what's new? It's fall, it's the West Coast. Um, but whoever you're with and hopefully with your loved ones, um, have a wonderful afternoon and um, we will see you back here to show you the um, finished chicken wings. Have a great day. Bye-bye.